everybody, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see from the title, I want to transform into Gabby DiMartino. She's a YouTuber, she's been on YouTube for so many years. Started off singing and then kind of went into like vlogging and makeup and style and she just does everything now and I've been watching her for years. Um, I love her style. I feel like she has that really girly, classy, like vintage-y Chanel inspired style which I really love. I also have a lot of different styles like depending on my mood and like the phase I'm in, I guess you can call it, like, I change it up, but I always resort back to that, like, girlier feel, so I feel like I really connect with her in that way, because every time I watch her, I love her outfits. Typically, every day, I do not dress like that, though, like, I'm more casual, um, but I'm interested in, like, really, because I recently bought some pieces that are really inspired by her to just, like, do a transformation so like makeup hair and outfit you guys are gonna see what i do to kind of mimic her look and i love it so i'm really excited to be doing this i might even make this like a series where i kind of like transform it to different youtubers please give me some other suggestions down below let me know your thoughts and if you like these types of videos please subscribe i'm not the type of person to be like turn on the notifications bell but it really does make a huge difference i feel like no one ever sees my videos um so yeah it would really mean so much to me and without further ado let's get into the look before any get ready with me that Gabby does, she always takes care of her skin and starts her makeup looks by cleansing her face with her Duval spin brush. I've noticed this in so many of her vlogs, so I was actually very excited when the company contacted me recently and asked me to include it in a video because I have been wanting to try it out. So I am using one of my favorite products to use it with. This is called Naturopathica. It's an oat cleansing exfoliator, which is an all natural, really great product, which is gentle enough for everyday use, but because it has like those little beads in it it really gives you a good cleanse and I actually noticed when I used the Duval spin brush with it it is a quite a powerful tool in my opinion so it made my skin feel very cleansed and I just felt like all my makeup was really well removed if you guys are actually interested in purchasing this brush they did offer me a discount code for you guys I don't make money off it but it is really to save a lot of money because it does retail for $95 but with the code of lime you'd be getting it for $20.50 I'll be sure to put that all down below for you guys if you're interested but I do find it very worth it because you're not only getting the spin brush itself, but a bunch of extra brush heads as well. Now, something I noticed that Gabby does as well after cleansing her face is misting it with like some sort of rose water spray. The one that I'm using is from the brand called Provence Beauty. And I also top that off with my facial oil from the same brand, which is infused with avocado and rosehip oil. And because I, my skin is on the drier side, I felt like it made such a difference. It's something that I like to do anyway. And it makes my skin feel extremely smooth and just like ready for the rest of my makeup. Okay, so I want to start off by doing makeup, but before I do, I feel like a little bit washed out. I feel like Gabby always looks very tanned. So I do have a product that I've been really using for like seven, eight years now. It's called the Quick Tan um, Bronzing Spray. I get I have medium dark, and it's like an instant spray. So you just spray it on your face, and it makes a really big difference. So I'm just going to be doing that before I get into my makeup. I'm just going to be covering myself because I don't want to spray my clothes. Um, don't mind me. I look nuts. <laughs> Guys, I promise when I put my makeup on, it's gonna look way better. <laughs> I swear. So the first product I'm going to be using to prime my face is the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I feel like her face always looks very smooth and very good. <laughs> so I'm going to be basically concentrating that where I have larger pores, but honestly just putting it all over my face, spreading it outwards. Okay, so next I'm going to be going in with foundation. This is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation. I find it extremely high coverage, but like very lightweight. It's very, like I've never tried anything like it. Um, I really, really do love this and I stand by it. I recently purchased it, but I haven't stopped using it ever since. So I find she has a full coverage look going on and I definitely want to mimic that. I'm going to be using this Artiste inspired brush to be spreading it all in. Now you could build it up a little bit, like it is high coverage, so I wouldn't do too much. I might just do a little more. I find Gabby definitely does have like a very high coverage look normally, so I do want to add just a little. Okay. 
All right, moving on to concealer. I will be using my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced. This is in the color Natural Beige. It is quite full coverage and blendable. I really do enjoy this concealer and I will be going under the eyes, anywhere where I really want to highlight and add even more coverage. And again, just blending that in with my Beauty Blender. Oh my God, I feel like it's so high coverage. To be honest with you guys, when I go out, I do my makeup like this anyway, so it's not like alarming for me, like. But yeah, she always looks really good and put together. So I will not shy away with the products today. Now, these are still cream products. I'm going to stick to that for now. I want to go in with a cream contour. I always find she has a really nice contour going on. I've been using this for years. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free um, Foundation Stick. This is in the color 355. It's definitely a much darker shade with the purpose of contouring. So I will go like this. All the areas where I want to add dimension or just suck it all in. Just like contour, she loves highlights. So I will be going in with a liquid highlight. This is from Cover FX. It is the Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunlight. I've been using this for quite a while. It adds a beautiful sheen to the face. Like really, really beautiful. Now I'm gonna start by patting that in with my fingers. Now it's extremely high intensity when you do that, but then I will be kind of softening that up and blending it properly with a beauty blender. All right, so now that I have packed on the cream products, it's definitely time to set it all into place. I'm going to be using my Cody Airspun loose, uh, translucent powder to set everything. I'm now going to dust off this powder with like a fluffier brush. This is from BH Cosmetics, it's so soft. So to set the rest of my face, I recently purchased this from Hourglass. It's the Ambient Lighting Powder. You can just tell it's like a really well-made powder. Is it necessary to your routine? No, but I find that it gives me like a less cakey like feel when I set my face. So I'm just going to be lightly going over the rest of my face with this powder. Now it's time to go in with the baking. So this is when I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the, the shade Banana. I know she uses banana powder. I've seen her do it so many times. So I'm going to be taking it with the same sponge as before and really just like focusing under the eyes and like my chin. Those are the main areas where I really want things to stand out. So for her eyes, I find she uses a lot of like coppery shades very often and a lot of glitters. And like she does like a really nice smoky eye with like a cut crease sometimes. So I definitely want to do that for this look. Um, so I recently purchased the Huda Beauty Nude Eyeshadow Palette. This is so beautiful and really my aesthetic. Like I love mosey tones, but in this palette, there's also those like coppery, more golden shades that I was talking about. As much as I want to do mauve because I'm obsessed, I feel like she more often wears like shades like Raw and Teddy. So like this one right here and that one, you know, like, and with some like gold. So I'm going to definitely be experimenting with some of those colors and see how I feel as I go. So I'm going to start off with like a really fluffy brush. This is from Beach Cosmetics as well. And I'm going to be going in with that Teddy color. I'm bringing it up higher than I normally would because I find that when she does her eye makeup, like her eyeshadow ends like very close to her eyebrows. Like mine doesn't normally when I do it. Eyeshadows is all about building it, you know? So take your time, do a lot of blending. I haven't done a, like a heavier eye look in a while, so I hope it looks good, but it's really just not about rushing and using the right brushes. That obviously makes a huge difference too. Okay, so once I've built up that Teddy color, it's literally been the same color this whole time. Just keep going back into it. 
and you guys can see it definitely looks heavier than the beginning but it's nothing too dramatic um i'm now going to go in with the color raw with the same brush just deepen this color but they do pair really well together now to really accentuate this outer shape i am going to take a different brush now it's definitely more dense shorter so i can really kind of get a little bit more precise so now i'm really building up the crease color okay so this is definitely looking more um mauvey than i was thinking However, she would definitely wear makeup look like this. Like I've seen her do it. It's just, I was hoping to go a little more coppery just because I see her wear that more often. But like, this is definitely something she would do. Now what I might do to make it a little more coppery is go in with this really inexpensive eyeshadow palette from Bad Habit. It's called Inferno. Um, I'm going to go in with the color Hot Spot. Definitely more orangey, you guys can see it. It's gonna give it more of that look. Okay, it's time to blend. <laughs> now, as much as she likes a nice full glam, like smoky eye, I don't wanna make it like too heavy where it becomes like dark, you know what I mean? So I think I may leave it like this for now. I can always touch it up later. Um, now what I really like about the Huda Beauty palette, like, I mean, it's not like a necessary thing, but it actually comes with like a concealer in there. So I will be going in with that. We'll go in with this concealer and I'm going to do a cut crease. I haven't tried this concealer yet. I don't know how it's going to be. Like, it's all right, but I feel like you guys can just easily use your normal concealers and it'd probably even look better, honestly. Not the hugest fan of the consistency of it, so I'm going to be going in with my Born This Away concealer to continue that off. Now for like the color to actually put on, I'm debating between like a rose gold, because when I think Gabby, I think rose gold instantly. So this is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. It's really, really nice. Oh my god, yeah, this is this is exactly what I needed. And it goes really well with the crease color. Guys, is this not Gabby? I love this combination, it's gorgeous. Okay, now for the most difficult part, but this is like signature, I gotta do a cat eye. So this might ruin the entire look. This is like the only part of makeup that I cannot stand is the cat eye, I can't take it. It's so hard to make it like perfectly equal no matter how many times I do it. So, um, I mean, it'll be worth it in the end if it looks good though. So let's just stop complaining. Okay. So I'm going to be using my Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is gonna allow me to do like that thicker, more intense winged line that she does and it's like super nice. So I do recommend that for these types of wings. So I'm just gonna start off in the middle. Bringing it all the way to the inner corner. So far, I'm not butchering it. Okay, it's just that wing now. So, where do I want it to go? Like that. Like, that's not bad. Guys, I just did that so seamlessly. This is rare. <laughs> Got it on tape. Um, 
it's not bad, right? Like, would she do more though? I don't want to butcher it. Anyway, okay, let's do the other eye and then figure it out. I, I have to give it to myself. This isn't bad. Um, now that the hardest part is over for me, I'm going to be wiping off this fake. Okay, I am going to be using Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette. This has been my go-to for like six years. I love it. With the medium and darker shade. I'm just sculpting out where I had basically put the cream contour from before. I'm going to start off with a light hand and just blend this out. Okay, with honestly like my favorite bronzer. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer, really affordable, works really well. This is in the shade Deep. So I'm basically going to go over the contour, it really does make a difference. This is what's really going to make me look tanned, like Gabby and like just finish things off. Okay, for nose contour now, Gabby's has a cute little nose. Um, she used to always contour it. I don't know if she still does, but I mean, it is very small. So I'm going to take a little pointed brush and just with my bronzer, I don't want to make this too intense, but I find the bronzer does really the trick nicely on the nose. Like that. I'm gonna put that under the lip too. She has a nice pouty lip. So, gotta fake it till you make it. I'm going to blend that all in. Okay, I need to put lips on. I feel like really weird. I find that Gabby really changes it up with, like, she always wears nudes though. I feel like that's her signature. So, I'm gonna stick with nudes. Um, this is the Huda Beauty con Lip Contour Lip Liner in the color Flirt. You can see I'm heavily overlining because I have to. <laughs> I don't got her lips. So I'm really going under the line. Now, the top, what I like to do is start off at the cupid's bow and overline. So make like a, a general stencil of where, how I want my cupid's bow. Okay, and now I'm going to go from the outer corners and really meet back into the middle, but I'm just gonna start overlining from here on. The lip liner, I'm just going to deepen up the outer corners because the middle is how it's going to make it look like more pouty that way. So, okay, well, I feel like this color is something she would definitely wear. This is from the NYX lingerie line. I haven't worn this in so long, but I used to wear this like every day. I'm going to be going in the shade push up and I'm going to try that out and see what that looks like. Well, that definitely worked. It definitely lightened up my overall nude and I like it. Okay, we need to we need to do the the rest now. I feel like my eyelashes nope. So now I'm going to be taking an eyelash curler just to curl them up a little bit and a mascara so that when I do put the lashes on it's going to blend really well. The mascara I like to use the, the writing's all gone but it's from Maybelline, it's the Rock and Mascara. I do use the waterproof formula because it, I find it lasts all day and just really keeps my eyelashes looking good. So 
If you guys don't mind waterproof, I would definitely recommend this one. All right, so now for eyelashes, I'm going to be using these like really full wispy eyelashes from a brand called Because. I have like a dedicated video showing you guys like all their eyelashes. They have a really great selection. Um, they're full make, they're well made. I feel like Gabby always has very fluttery, nice eyelashes. So I definitely want to go for like a more dramatic pair. So this is in the style Basia. They're really beautiful. I'm just going to wait for the eyelash glue to dry and then put them on my eye. Now, as I wait for it to dry, I do want to go kind of work on the lower lashes and take the color raw from the Huda Beauty palette again, same as what I had used as the transition shade. And concentrate that on the bottom. If not all the way in, into the inner corner, but like most of it. Now what I'm going to do is take the rose gold glitter from Stila and concentrate that from the inner corner to the middle. Now I'm going to be putting these eyelashes on my eye. Yeah, they're definitely very intense, but I feel like on a glam night out, she would honestly wear this. So, um, I'm gonna stick to it. Oh, wow, okay. Is this too much? I feel like this is a lot. I'm not used to it guys, I, I feel like, well that's the thing, it can't be, this is not my look, this is Gabby, so I have to stop thinking about what I would do and ask myself if this is something she would do. Alright, I'm gonna keep it for now, um, if it really bothers me, if I really feel like this isn't working, I'll, I'll change them. Last and certainly not least, let us pack on this highlight, I feel like she's always glowing so much, I'm really excited, so let us start by using like one of the first highlighters I've ever purchased, the Becca Highlighter and Jaclyn Hill in Champagne Pop. So I'm going to just place this. I didn't wet my brush yet. This is what I like to do. I like to just apply a dry first, see how I want to place it. And then I'm going to start layering. So I'm going to put some on the forehead, chin, I like to put some on the eyebrow. She's always really glowy. So. Um, okay, now I'm gonna wet my brush with my Fix Plus and go back in and you guys will see it is drastic. Like, could you tell? Yup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I feel like she's even more glowy than this. Like, it's like glowy, but like, I wanna add some glitter because this is just like a nice sheen. So I think I'm gonna go in now with my Face Studio Chrome Extreme from Maybelline. This is a really nice highlight. Now, this shade is like more of a pinky light light shade. Do you guys see what that's doing? I'm applying this dry because I, I feel like it's gonna be a lot if I apply it wet. Like the tip of her nose just to accentuate it just the tip and the bridge in her corners with the highlight i feel like something that she also does is put a little bit of black eyeliner on the actual waterline so i think i'm gonna do that i don't want to put too much so to do that i'm using my revlon color stay eyeliner in black So because I just got my eyebrows done, and obviously like I do have thicker brows to begin with, um, I'm not gonna go in with a pencil, but I do like to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the color Espresso, just to kind of lock in the color, like make it look extra thick, and make sure the brows stay in place as well. Something that I noticed that she does, first of all, I know that she uses a lot of Pixi products. I recently picked this up, it's the Glow Mist. I mean, why not add that in here? So I'm going to spray my face with the Glow Mist. 
I feel like this is gonna kind of melt things together a little bit better. I also use um, my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This has like gold little flecks in it and it's going to add like a bit of that sheen that I want as well because when you do layer on a lot of product, you do kind of wanna make everything look more like skin. <laughs> so, all right, so we're finally done with the makeup. I'm actually really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, this is something that I would definitely picture Gabby wearing on like a night out or like more glam Even like times she's vlogged like where her makeup looks really put together and like I'll screenshot it and I'm like I love how that looks um, I feel like that's one of those looks. I'm really really happy about it So I am done now with the makeup. So I'm going to now be moving on with the hair and Lastly, we will be doing the outfit all right guys, I'm finally done with the makeup and I've been contemplating so hard which hairstyle to do for Gabby Like she has so many different styles that she does so often I find though that she always resorts back to um, the half up half down and it suits her and it like looks really cute So I might just do that because I feel like that really does scream Gabby so what I'm gonna start by doing first and foremost is to clip in the extensions. so I wear extensions from Zala I actually have a lot of like I've been really experimenting with extensions recently I'm gonna buy another pair really soon and just like do another review because I don't know I feel like it helps a lot of people not everyone wants you know Zala's and they want to see what else is out there so I'm gonna be wearing my Zala's today though um, because they're very long and they're the longest extensions I have and hers her hair is very very long so I'm gonna just brush that out Now, I want to do my hair half up, half down, so that's going to make a difference in how I put in the extensions. Okay, let's leave it like that for now. Now I can actually clip in the extensions. So I'm starting off like really low. I would say only that, yeah, it's about this much hair down. I'm taking my three clip and I'm going to put that under. I have to be really careful because I'm only gonna like put a little bit more hair down. I find it difficult to do it this way, but it looks better in the end because it's like if I'm going to, you know, like put my hair up after, like you're gonna see tons of clips. So I'm hoping that this looks good. Now I'm going to be taking my two clip. And I also have two one clips that I'll be putting in. All right, let's see how this is looking like. Let's put this all down. She kind of has it like to one side sometimes. Like she doesn't, she changes it up honestly. But I kind of feel like this is Gabby, you know? So I'm gonna curl this. It's like mostly the ends that are curly. And like I'll curl this part here. So I can take sections. My hair hat, like the extensions have a wave to it to begin with. And I find when you add extensions, like it really gives off the illusion that your hair is done even when it's not. Like my hair already has a wave. And so I'm taking the parts that are like less wavy and just touching it up, basically. As you guys can see, I'm opening up the barrel when I do this and I'm wrapping it as if it's a wand. I find that the curls look more beachy that way. And I find that often that's how Gabby's curls will look like. Um, Okay, I think I'm good for now. Let me see. Well, no, this I need to be done. Let's, let's not neglect half my head here. Don't you think it's not 
flowers just to dream is half a night. Don't you bring me flowers? Flowers only die. Don't you bring me flowers? Don't you bring me flowers? They can't make it up. Don't you bring me flowers? Flowers, flowers, flowers only die. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks really cute, to be honest. Um, what I might do to really like make it a little more Gabby, because like a lot of people do their hair half up, half down, it's not that big of a deal, is to do like a bow. I feel like she puts a bow here or like a ribbon. I'm gonna see what I have and be right back. Okay guys, so the only thing that I found is this long ribbon. Um, I'm gonna fold it because it's gonna be way too long. So I'm gonna fold it and I'm going to like wrap it around this. I hope it looks good. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. And I'm going to do a knot. This might look bad because I just folded it. Okay. Let's see what, what happens. Um. Hmm. <laughs> um. I mean, like, she does this and it looks really good on her. I just, this bow looks so bad on me because of the way I, oh, wait, wait. This isn't so terrible. Let me just, like, That's like cute. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in for now. And like, if it looks bad with the outfit, I'll take it out. But like, this is cute and like literally reminds me of her. So I'm gonna keep it in. Okay guys, this is so cute. This is so something, guys, yes or no, is this not something Abby would do? I'm really happy with the hair. I'm really happy with the makeup. I'm feeling very girly and very Gabby-esque. Finally, we need to find an outfit. Now I'm thinking of like Scream Queens right now when I'm thinking of Gabby, like she does have different styles and things, but like I really kind of think of that. I know that she really loves that style and it suits her. So I'm feeling like tweed, bows, like blouses, like that type of vibe. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So let's see what I got and <laughs> let's get to the final look. All right, so let's break down this outfit that I picked out. I don't know if it's gonna be the final outfit or not just because I have to try it on. Um, for the the jacket that's gonna go over top, I chose this teddy black coat. This one's from Zara. It's a really cute oversized like coat and I've seen her wear teddy coats before. This is really gonna casualize the outfit but still look really put together because I could put it like over the shoulders and it can give like that fur coat vibe without it actually being fur. Um, for the blouse, I'm pretty sure she owns this exact blouse like this screams gabby to me it has like the little bow on the top very cute and delicate piece finally i couldn't do a video without a tweed skirt of some sort i really like this one from fashion nova it's cute i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave the 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 chains out or not we'll see how it looks all together but i do find that the gold from here and here looks really nice finally for shoes <laughs> I chose these coach flats um, because they're casual, like you can wear them out, but they're still like dressy, you know? I love the gold accents and I think that that's gonna match really well with the rest of the outfit. All right, so without further ado, let's try it on and see how it looks like. Ta-da! So this is the look, I actually love it. Um, this is so gabby, like I feel like if she had like something more dressy to go to, like obviously day to day she's not wearing this. This is really more of like a glam look of hers. Um, it's very Chanel inspired, very Scream Queens. I love it. Um, I'm really, really happy with how this came out. I never paired these things together yet. It's funny, I didn't even plan this, but this whole outfit is Fashion Nova, minus the accessories. You guys are gonna see, um, I'm gonna throw over a coat, the purse, all of that. But yeah, this is the actual outfit. And I feel like, guys, all together, this is it. You guys can't really see my shoes right now. They're just like coach flats that I've had for a while. They go really well because they're black with gold kind of hardware, which kind of has that going down this entire outfit. I feel like I really match things well together um, because Gabby would, and you know, I had to take that extra time. I'm honestly very, very happy with this overall look and I really think of Gabby when I wear things like this. So I hope you guys like it just as much as I do. I'm really happy with this overall transformation. I'm like bending down, but um, yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I had a, honestly a blast and I hope she sees this. Like that would make my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.